Good afternoon again. This is the ever intrepid Neil Spate from Thurrock Nub News. Uh, just out for a stroll and although I've got some water in front of me, this is not what I'm talking about today, flooding. Um, I'm just revisiting at the request of uh, residents on the Maple Park, Stamford Park housing estates in Stamfordley Hope. Uh, an area on uh, the side of the country park and the land between it and the Ingerborn Quarry. Um, which has been subject to a couple of stories that I've done and a lot of local concern about uh, illegal bike riders or off-road bike riders and 4 by 4 drivers, quad bike drivers and whatever. Now straight away, let me make a point. A lot of the residents have got no problem with these guys and girls carrying out their hobby in the proper place. And the pit, the quarry, was, a, was deemed to be a proper place. And for many, many years was where a lot of local people went to ride their bikes off-road use their off-road vehicles safely in a place where they weren't causing any danger to anybody else. What we understand has happened is that in recent times, that quarry has been made inaccessible to them. And a number of the people who love their hobby so much have decided, well, we're still going to do it. Now, you can pass a moral judgment on that if you wish to or whatever. But what's unequivocal is that a number of people are now starting to still get into that quarry. And what they're doing is they're tearing into it um, by breaking down fences, as you can see here, which has been put up to protect uh, access to the quarry. And they've also been coming in on, on this path here and other areas and churning up the, the roads and the, the lanes. And we're gonna get down towards the, the pathways in a minute. Um, so we'll just have a wander back. It's actually on a nicer, drier day. Uh, it, this is a lovely walk. And, and the, the new park that's been created is a great community facility. Um, uh, it was it was the, the, the two new housing estates part of the agreement is that they had to create this park it used to be the old St. Clair's golf course and it's lovely to go for a walk and I know it's been an absolute godsend to a lot of people during lockdown um, as we wander along here you can see that's the dangerous warning keep out so I'm on the right side of the fence but as you can see people have been coming up either on this public footpath here or breaking down a fence you're going to see in a minute and going down there so this is just to show that these things do happen and i was posted some film on the site the other day of a couple of uh 4x4 vehicles uh shooting about as i say some of these people uh they're, they're, they're genuine they're passionate about their hobby they look after their vehicles and they just want somewhere to go and, and carry out their hobby and a few took to my website and said you know where can we go um and, and it's a fair point other areas of the country have specialised 4x4 centres, scrambler centres and whatever. I don't think, and I'm sure somebody will put me wrong if, I'm, uh, if I am wrong, that there are uh, any, any roundabout here. So, so they're finding their own way. It is a wonderful view from up here. You can see, looking across the river, you can see the new port. A rather large ship it appears just to be either docking or leaving, which is a rather spectacular shot over there and cutting across to Stamford and up to the top of Langdon Hills. It's a lovely part of the borough. Um, I've, I've said a couple of times in the last 24, 48 hours how much I enjoy being down at Burfleet on a bend in the river and I really enjoy being up here. It's a great area, but it's nice on a lovely day like this, albeit a bit damp, very peaceful, very quiet. Imagine a load of bikes and quads ripping up and down here. And what they are doing is they're wrecking the public footpaths and making them uh, inaccessible for people who have a genuine need of them. So, as I say, how we solve this problem uh, is difficult and uh, I hope that, uh, again, the responsible people will look at it. I'd like to think that Ingerborn, who are desperate to develop large swathes of this area as a new quarry, and I'm actually going to just go down this little lane here. Um, you'll be aware there is a planning application in for a huge new quarry that a lot of people are very, very concerned about and uh, that's actually going to happen in a swathe all around here so what Ingerborn appear to be doing with their fencing and whatever is he's making their area sacrosanct at the moment um, and whatever their motivation is um, then they're, they're falling out with the local biking and quad biking community um, so as I say this is a view of the some of the land that is about to be or is part of the application for uh, for the new quarry but we'll cut back across to the park uh, i'll venture across a little bit across country here 
we've already had one comedy moment today, so I don't want to go uh, head over heels, but you can see there is access to this area, uh, legitimate access, so that you can understand why people are getting up here with their bikes. I understand a lot of the bikers park on the corner uh, at the entrance to Mucking by the Mucking level crossing. They leave their vehicles there, they bring the bikes with them, they bike up here. Some of them, the more responsible ones, I'm told wheel their bikes. So as I say, there's good eggs and there's bad eggs in every basket. I'm not here to make a moral judgment, just, just to raise again an issue that local residents have contacted Thurrock Nub News, said we've been speaking to people, we're not getting any answers. Uh, can you highlight it? Which is what your local news website is here to do. Uh, I don't have solutions. I might have some ideas, but I don't have solutions. But if we can cause, de create debate and discussion, discussion with the police, discussion with the local council, maybe a solution can be found for everybody because it would be a shame if this looks lovely area of green environment, green longing in Thurrock is, uh, is not used properly. So uh, I've raised the subject, I've shown you the scene where it's all happening. Uh, sadly, well sadly or happily, it depends on your point of view, there are no bikes about at the moment. I'm, I fully expect there'll probably be some here on a Sunday. Um, but it's a topic for discussion and I hope people start discussing it. This is Neil Spate, Throwing Up News, Stanfordly Hope.